Hey there everyone, Emmanuel here, presenting you with another episode of L2R Discovery. So today we'll be going to the Forest of Secrets understory, the one of the one of the end du dungeon content for the patch 260 along with the Forest of the Secret Slaughter site. Why this one is red? Well, I'll I'll tackle that in the next next segment. So for now, let's give you a brief overview. So like I mentioned, it's actually level 230 for you to enter this dungeon. It requires to be at 847 847k CP, and for the overview or the storyline, it's the countless trees in the forest of secrets block the rays of the sun. The era seems to have been destroyed by the monsters. So, well, this is like, like a second floor of the, the previous dungeon that we have. And let's see what else. I think that's it. So, let's just um, get in and see what the place has to offer. So before we proceed, let's once again take a look at the denizens and also the core droppers of this area. So we, as you like the previous one, we have three bosses. So we have Vanuk, and also Kylene, a Medusa, and also Velos. So let's begin. And while we're at it, let's also clear up our core here. There we go. So let's first, okay, let's go clockwise this time. So let's start here. Then we go up here, then over here, the main area, then all the way back to back to the start once we're done. And as usual, we have your some more nymphs, which is well, they don't drop really anything significant. Otherwise, imp slashers. Let's see. Oh yeah. So Vanuk is over here. Then Kylie is over there. Then Velos is over here. And that's for our nymph here. Okay, well, once patch 320 arrives, they will actually drop some special loot, so this will actually drop some appears. But right now, they don't really drop anything, so this will be a place that's going to be widely ignored. Then moving on forward, yep, further up, on this wide, really wide area over here, this is actually nothing but covered by these um, pan defenders, the only magical air, magical mobs in this area. So... So as a additional um, dispute for that um, red gear or elite gear for the patch 260, which is better currently, after uh, level 230, it will be the elite gear will be ideal for you because to top it off, these mobs don't drop any evils of blood, well, you know the presence of blood. I'm sorry, proof of blood or also the red star stone. So unless you just really want to level, then these mobs will be ideal for you. Otherwise, for our red gear users, well, tough break. After let's say 240, well. Good luck um, leveling here or soloing this place. And let's see if our boss is up right now. Nope, he's not. Someone's already camping it, so never mind. So, that's it for this area then. So, this is the only magical air mobs here. So, let's move right along to this area. Okay, so for this part, we have the Mornium Avengers, honestly. Yeah, it's actually another useless mob if you ask me, unless you really just do, do some, you have nothing better to do, since they don't drop any proof of blood, or otherwise, oh, it's our friend again. Well, we won't be fighting him like I said, but anyway, nothing special here, so let's just move on to the next part. So let's now go over here. So I think at most for, ah, I don't remember. Let's just go there directly, so that we can check what kind of mobs we're looking at. Okay, there we go. So there's actually just some succubus here, succubus night tags. So they do drop some evil of blood, but the catch is they're actually level level 248 for you. So groups of, this is always recommended here. But well, unlike some people, yeah, let's do. Never mind, let's not for privacy reasons. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. So for these set of mobs, they don't drop any core. So. Excuse me, there's actually just nothing for you to do here unless you, as usual, want to farm some bloods. But from what I heard, most of the people in the 180 region, or who's still about to get the patch, have a decent amount of proof of blood, so I guess it's next to point us to, to drop them. Then, finally, we have your Velos, the Velos territory. So, for this area, covering nearly the middle portion of this, um, this place, it's actually nothing but these um, poison serpents. Oh, by the way, in the future patches, you'll be getting a quest here to do your class transfer quest. So, so yeah, it's really recommended that you have your, your elite gear here. And there's our, there's Velos himself. And yeah, might as well, let's pick a fight with him. And once again, 
he's going to be quite a popular mob since he actually drops the core, attack core that is. So probably the, the most significant core to drop in the dungeon. So let's just kill him now. Full shots on. Pops on. Attack. Ulti on. There we go, and we got the letter K for the event, so from what I heard this event will also be over, that uh, word binding event, so yeah, I've already completed my all of the events here for the for this patch, so we're really looking forward once it's gone, and uh, yep, I guess there's some people still core farming here. So that's it for them, for the so-called popular core, core dropper of this new dungeon. Let's move al along to the next part, which is also another core dropper, namely these Medusas over here. Which is actually the minion of Kylene. So for this area over here, yeah, for this um, third portion, that's where most of the mobs are located. So it's really a wide place, so feel free to, to take a spot where you want, you know, depending on your area or your tradition. Yeah. We won't run out of space here, and there she is. Kylie in all her glory. Let's kill him again, too. Okay, we'll be on. There we go, letter R. R for Romeo, right here. Ooh, nice. We got a treasure here, so might as well, since we're there's barely any people here. But once you have a good level at this place, and yeah. Okay, break time again. So as I said, since there's a lot of um, this place is pretty wide, so there's a good chance you can run into some treasures here. As for the spawn rate of these treasures, I have no idea. I usually just visit them once a day. So, to our break for now, while we finish up our Gargo here, and if you're lucky, hopefully you get a rare page again. Oh, what the heck, let's use our ulti now. Oh, never mind, we don't, we can't actually. Scratch what I said. Really point pointless to use your ulti here or your rare skill here since it will just be reduced to one damage anyway. Four, three, two, one. There we go. And we got a 25k experience for that, so it's really worth it to kill those gargoyles, even though it can be time consuming. And there's also a risk that someone might, well, you know, kill steal or try to assist you from these kinds of mobs. So, anyway, let's continue with our tour here. So we'll be going to this area over here, then up here, then all the way back to the uh, to the entry point. So from here, there's another set of um. Whoa, it's just a lion. Okay. So there's a uh, more succubus over here for level 254. For these place, these mobs are quite quick, so kiting is um not quite an option for these kinds of mobs. So bring a group, bring friends, boys. And let's see. Yeah, this is also a good farming spot. Some people just lure the mobs over here, then. They just, um, you know, slaughter them to their heart's content. Otherwise, it's usually this area over here where most people just camp since there's no ch less chances of spawning mobs here and less, of, less chance of being ganked too. So, moving right along, let's now move to this area. Okay. So from here we have here another set of serpent mobs, but unfortunately they're not magical creatures. And they don't drop any cores, so yep, nothing special here boys and girls. So anyway, let's just go all the way to the very end of it. If we get a treasure, then good for us. Otherwise, well, oh well, get wrecked, son. So there you have it. So I think this is also, wow, 262. So I guess this is also one of the end, uh, end mob content for this, but there's actually no... No core drop, so good luck to you there. Because otherwise, if you look at the next um, 
next dungeon it actually also requires you to be at level 262 let's um, just um, take a look at it once again yep or actually 260 so we'll visit that level a little bit later for now let's just focus on our on the understory um, dungeon so we've been to oh, okay yeah so for this place it's actually more more medusas so yep as you can see there's barely any magical creatures here so unless you really want to focus on on just leveling then just um, focus on those magical mobs otherwise for the elite gears well this is the place for you and from maybe it's uh, just our server since we're well you know a low population or a new server there's actually not much of people um, um doing this dungeon so well good luck finding a group here otherwise you have decent elite gears or whatnot so for this place it's just another regular medusa with just some um, dropping people bloods Let's go to the final final spot of our tour. And we have some more secretive succubus here, which is well, even though they're actually they actually have a huge amount of HP there, well, they're not worth farming in any way. But let's go to this area first. Let's see if there's some treasures too. Usually for the treasures they spawn in the middle of these um, lily pads, but unfortunately there's none. Or actually in addition they also spawn in the middle of these um, trunks here, trunk markings. And there you have it. So that concludes our tour for this place. So as a conclusion once again, for the patch to 60, I say it's the elite gear that will be recommended for you. Then once you've actually upgraded your elite gear to UR, then probably go to the to the red set since for the next patch, namely patch 320, there's going to be a much more decent amount of magical creatures even for the new dungeons as you can see on my re latest tour videos for the dragon caves. So there you have it boys. So hope you enjoyed this segment, So and thanks for watching L2R Discovery. See ya guys!